In a perfect world, WordPress website wouldn't have broken links, and our website visitors wouldn't get hit with that dreaded 404 page. But the web world is far from perfect, and sometimes 404 errors pop up from an unnoticed broken link or a user typing in the wrong URL for your website. So as a website owner, there's a few steps that you should take in order to make sure that you're making the best out of this error so that your website visitors aren't shown a dreaded page like this looks like gibberish right the good news is is that there's a way to customize this error page on your wordpress website without knowing any code and that is what i'm walking you through today in this video all right so today we're diving into customizing the lovely 404 page so if you're not sure what a 404 page or a 404 error is, click the link below in the video description and head over to my website Wednesday video that explains all of that good stuff. But if you're ready to dive into customizing your own, then you're in the right place. So first things first, log in to your WordPress website and we're going to download a quick plugin to make this process as painless as possible. So click on plugins and then click on this button, add new. And then in this search bar, you're gonna type in custom 404 and you're going to find this one, 404 page and click install now. And then you're gonna wanna click activate. So then you'll get the notification that the plugin has been activated. And then you can click on the settings button right here. So basically what this plugin does is that it allows you to redirect your 404 error from the default one that looks like this and it allows you to point it to any other page on your website so what we have to do is actually create a new page so come over to pages and this process will be different depending on which theme that you're using but I can just show you a super basic one so you're gonna want to add a new page you can call it your 404 error page and then we can type in a heading oh no looks like we messed up and then go ahead and explain the page you're looking for doesn't exist anymore and you can make this 404 page basically as complex or as simple as you want and you can go ahead and you could add images and links and basically whatever you want to and then you're going to want to hit publish so that wordpress creates the page and then in order to go back into the plugin settings we're going to go to appearance and then 404 error page and then we're going to select that 404 error page that we just built and then save changes so after you save the changes you definitely want to test the 404 error just to make sure that the page that you think is going to show up is actually the page that is showing up so cool that's exactly what we wanted so now we're going to go back and then i just want to run through a few must-have elements on your 404 page so the one that we just created is super basic and simple but it's missing a few things um, number one is a search bar we definitely want to have a search bar like this in the page so that people can type in the thing that they were looking for and then you also want to add links to the top three to five things that visitors typically want when they come to your website so if you wanted to do a little bit of research in your Google Analytics, you can find out um, which content pages or blog posts visitors tend to look at the most and then link to those from this page. Um, you could also link to your homepage. So go to my homepage, check out my popular blog post. Here's another blog post. And then include these links somewhere in your 404 page so that they can really quickly go to like your most popular content and pages. And then always, always have a quick link to contact you in case they still can't find what they're looking for or if they want to report the 404 page error to you. Opening the door to communication is key on your website. And then you can also offer them a chance to join your email list so you can type in like your freebie and then you can link to the page that your freebie is on or you can go ahead and pop in the short code from like mailchimp or convertkit right onto this page so that they can pop in their email 
address. So this can help you convert your website visitors even when they end up on the wrong place. And then make sure that you're adding a little personality to this page. So you can upload a funny graphic or a GIF to help kind of lighten the mood so they're not as frustrated by the user. So here's a funny one from a company called Magnet and they're using the graphic to kind of make a joke about how the user ended up on the page. Um, you can also play around with the wording so it shows off your brand and your humor a little bit. The main point is to tell people how to get to where they want to go. So you can turn your 404 page into an asset and use it to help people so it doesn't become the last page that they visit on your website. And if you wanted to add a search bar to this page, you can download a plugin by going to plugins and then clicking add new again. And you can type in widget short code and you can download this plugin right here. And basically what this does is that it allows you to grab some widgets and put them in pages on your website by grabbing just a short code. So widget short codes, you will see this widget area right here. So any available widgets over in the side, you can put them in this widget area and then you can copy the short codes and they won't show up in like your footer or your sidebar or anywhere else. We're going to want to drag the search form over here and we'll say search this website and then grab the short code that it gives you and go back over to the page that you created. So you might not have to do the widget short code if you're using a theme that allows you to place a search bar in your content but if you're not then this is a really good workaround to be able to do so you can go ahead and paste that short code in there and now your search form shows up right on your 404 page which is exactly what we want I'm not gonna go into like the styling of this yet but basically it go it puts in the functionality that we want to see. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have a WordPress specific question that you'd like answered or maybe need a little clarification on, go ahead and comment below so I can help you understand my favorite website platform a little bit better. And if you like this quick tutorial, just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of WordPress tutorials coming out.